everybody, and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles 4 Rival here. And we just saved Raz and Kai. It was a, it was a lovely battle. Um, I got a D rank, and and there's been some discussion in the comments about how I could have done it a lot faster. And yes, I could have. Um, and how you miss out on XP and stuff by taking so long. I will be replaying these after the fact. Um, but you guys are getting to see me playing them for the first time sort of thing. That's what you're seeing. Um, but I, I will go back and replay these missions to get more XP from them. And learn stuff. I'll know where the bad guys are going to appear. I'll know how fast they're going to do things. And I'll be able to do better at them. Um, it's more about me learning the game as I go along. Um, and how I react. I've never said I'm the best player in the world of these games. <laughs> it's actually on my, my Twitter, it's distinctly average. I am distinctly average. I'm I'm not one of these uh, YouTubers who is like ridiculously good. Those are fun to watch, don't get me wrong, but I'm more of a guy who just enjoys playing video games, enjoys learning and the whole experience of playing a game and finding the little nuances and how to do things and all that. I'm not one of these people who's really good straight off the bat. I have to learn, and I enjoy learning. Um, I enjoy playing a game and finding new ways of winning that is faster or better, and you get more score and things like that. So that D will not stay a D for very long. I won't be happy until I've got an A. I'll probably settle for a B to begin with, but I won't be happy until I've got an A. Um, and I'll get more experience because of that, and more money, and I'll be able to do more research, and train my troops faster, and all that kind of stuff. I know that. Um, but it, you guys are seeing me doing them for the first time, where I struggle. And hell, you know, if I'm playing this, and you are spotting where I'm making mistakes, and going, well, I won't do that, I'll do this instead, that's great. That's good, because that means you're seeing me make a mistake and going, oh, I won't make that mistake when I play that level. And that's good. I mean, oh, that's fine with me. That's absolutely good for me. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I understand it's frustrating when you watch me make a mistake or you see me play a level you've already done and go and do something really, really dumb. Um, just bear with me, guys. I'm learning as I go. This is definitely not the type of game I play on a regular basis. I like my JRPGs, I do. Um, first brought into them by Final Fantasy VII. Never played a Final Fantasy game in my life until I played that game, and I burnt out many, many days playing that. But when I started playing it, I was rubbish. I was too aggressive, I was too conservative. It's all about finding the balance in each battle, and that's not always the way it works. Um, but anyway, enough with me rambling on. Uh, we've got lots of stuff that has become available since we came back. Uh, we've got a new episode here. We've got two squad stories that are up for viewing. Um, and we got some stuff, so we should probably do some headquarters bits, like training. Now, I've leveled up the scouts to, to level 11, so they are now elite scouts. Now, show me what you're made of. We've got 7,280, so I think we're going to... I mean, I started on the Lancers. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to stick with the Lancers. I think I'll probably go with the Shock Troopers. But we could just finish off the Lancers and then do the Shock Troopers. That would get them both up to level 7. And that means just four levels to get them up to level 11 and be elite. Um, I don't know what you get for each one. Someone was nice enough to tell me in the comments, but I'm trying not to remember those things. Like, I knew that... Scout elites get uh, grenades. I didn't use them very effectively in the last level, but you know, I was more overwhelmed with what I was being dealing with. Um, I will use them to take down sandbag barriers and things like that. I tend not to try and do that because I like to use the sandbag barriers for my own. Um, I completely forgot we had grass on that level that I could have used for my scouts, but hey. Nah. Uh. <laughs> But there are things that I want to do. I mean, I could 
possibly level up the snipers twice. I don't think I will though. Let's get our shock troopers done and we can definitely get the lancers so let's get them done as well. Now, is that the Yes it is, it's definitely the best we can do. You've leveled up, so to speak. Good work. Thank you. We appreciate that. Well well. Your shock troopers have found a new potential. Just just, just found a new potential. Great, wonderful. Okay. Um so yeah. So I think we'll probably focus on shock troopers next. Um and just I want everyone as elite. I don't know what comes after elite. It would be nice to know, but we'll just focus on getting everyone up to elite to begin with. And hopefully we'll get from there. Uh, maybe Done there's some new research. Oh, hey, Claude. We did just do a big battle, so. Nothing there. Machine guns, no. Anti-tank lances, no. Sniper rifles. Mortars. Hand grenades, nothing. No, okay. Um, often. No. Nada. Okay, I don't think there's anything. Which kind of sucks, because we've got 77 grand burning a hole in my pocket right now. Ah. Yes, Miles, there's nothing to do, so don't start giving me... Yeah. Okay, um... Back to book mode, then. I think... Yeah, let's have a look at what's the aftermath of that battle. The aftermath, because I've got a feeling Kai's going to be a little bit angry with uh, the old brats. Miles, think you can get the Hoffen running? Can't say for sure. Some parts got so hot the metal started warping. I don't think I can fix it here. We should get her back to base while she can still move. The Hoffen's been working harder than any of us. We might have pushed her too far. Yep. Well... Do what you can, and we'll get moving. Yes, sir! Raz, how's Kai? It was a pretty clean shot. Sounds like it'll close right up with a couple stitches. Nice. She only lost so much blood because it nicked an artery. But they got it under control. Oh, man. I was scared shitless back there. Ow! If Kai died because of me, I... Now you know how we feel. I... what? <laughs> you are such a dumb... Every time you run off and nearly get yourself killed, that's what it's like for the rest of us. Oh. <laughs> really? Yes, you moron. Afraid so. I can't believe Kai actually got hit, though. She's always been the best of us. With guns or even with fists. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't really tell who's going to shoot at you. Where's she got room for all that strength anyway? She's barely ten stones soaking wet. Honestly, I didn't think there was a soldier in the Empire who could leave a scratch on her. It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Hey, uh, I don't know about you, but saying that kind of stuff usually gets me punched. Don't worry, I've got the radio. <laughs> Should have known Mr. Valedictorian's got it covered. Thanks, Claude. You're welcome. Here, I brought you some cold water. We need to keep you hydrated. It might be a while before we get back to base. Oh. Thanks. You look so pale. Must have lost a lot of blood. How do you feel? I'm fine. Better than before, anyway. Feed her. Lots of food. Probably needs to replace blood cells. What are they up to? Probably no good. 
Someone needs to keep an eye on them. Okay, that's just like, you know, being a little bit judgmental. You don't know. You can't hear the conversation. <laughs> True. You really have to watch out for Raz. Okay, in his case, he's a dum dum. I don't know. Claude gets kind of crazy sometimes, too. Though you'd never guess it by looking at him. No, I could see it. It's always the quiet ones, right? It's nice talking like this. Feels like we're kids again. I've changed a lot since then, though. In a good way? Mm, Who knows? I hope so. You've changed, too. Never thought I'd see you in the army. I mean, you were always athletic, but now you're Deadeye Kai. War changes everything. Piece by piece. Very true. Yeah. And what about Claude? Huh? Not all change is bad. Especially in his case. Yeah, okay. He's not who he used to be. I'll give you that. That was quick. I didn't expect you to just admit it. Well, I've grown up too. Another change for the better. Tell that to Claude. <laughs> what, and actually deal with my feelings? Like some kind of rational, stable adult? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's changed. But in some ways, we're all still the same. Hmm? Okay. Battered and bruised. Let's keep this going. I can feel my clothes sticking to me. I'd kill for a shower. Sorry, Riley. Not until the mission is over. <sighs> I know. Just let me complain a little. God, I need a nap. Doesn't have to be cushy. I just want to get to sleep without hearing gunfire for once. You're at war. On the front line, it's not really an option. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'll go repair the Hoffman. Whoa, Miles, you can't even walk straight. Keep it together. <laughs> Everyone's at their limit. We should relax while we still can. Assuming you'll be allowed to. Yeah, you'd better get some rest. We need to resupply for our next deployment. Here we go. Claude. Uh, I know. <laughs> we'll move out the moment we're done restocking. The Hoffman's out of commission, though. I'll go on foot. Don't. Huh? Uh-oh. You don't have to. The operation's over. Hey, what now? Wait, what? The Empire's retreating. They're abandoning the Zeke Fall line. It's a trap. That means... we... we did it! We... won! We broke the Ziegfall line? Oh, yeah! yeah! <laughs> we got him, man! We beat him with our own two hands! We fought to the finish and came out on top! Uh, no, they ran away. You didn't... Right to the finish. I don't trust this at all. I'm sorry. I really don't. There's too much of the game left. Mission complete. You were all amazing. Yeah, I don't buy this. At all. The Empire's retreat marks the end of the Battle of Ziegfall. And a narrow but decisive victory for the Federation. Although our casualties are innumerable, and our supplies are all but exhausted, a relief effort is already in the works, and morale is still high on the front line. Tonight, the camp is alive with glory and triumph, as we celebrate a win that will go down in history. 
and then they attack while you're partying. But tomorrow, we march, advancing further and further into the heart of the Empire. One step closer to the Imperial capital, and one step closer to the end of the war. Chapter 5, Behind the Front Lines. Okay, we're on to Chapter 5. A new skirmish has been added. Okay, we'll take a Your look at this. Your perseverance at Ziegfall has earned you this medal. It was a tough fight, but we both made it through. Cool. Save accessories or enhanced bullets. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Call me Odin. Ooh. Oh, the roster says Thomas Kevin. Um, uh, that man is long dead. Right. You're weird. <laughs> Lily Ashley at your service. I wouldn't get too close, though. I've got a curse. <laughs> Can we have some normal soldiers over here, please? Normal soldiers requested. Claude's potential self-consciousness has changed to Pledge of Courage. Riley's potential pyrophobia has changed to Absolution. Your soldiers' preferences have now changed. Obtain decal for the Huffin. Ab uh, oh, it's an emblem. We've received an emblem. Personal updated, glossary updated, news articles have been updated. So much going on, go, go, too much. All right, let's take a look at this skirmish. Oh, it's the one where we go around the thing. Cool. Have to see how that one works out, because if we can get that done quickly, then we could get a lot of XP out of that, because we've got a ladder there, we can just go up and through it. Out. That that could be a good one. That could be a good one. And I'm sure there'll be people in the, the chat who will tell me how to do that the best. I'm, I'm hoping they will. Because we could get some good XP and money out of that. Excellent. Uh, we've got new stories to read as well. Uh, but we will continue on with the episode for now. I think this is going to be an episodic video. So if that is not your thing, you might want to move on to the next one if you're uh, watching them in the future um, and if you're uh, watching them as they come out day by day uh, sorry about that I've got squad stories to do as well I've got two squad stories October the color of the leaves is changing with the season mother nature gave us a beautiful autumn well that means the uh, half and the federation's victory at Ziegfall was a moment of triumph and we remain on schedule to reach the capital. Awesome. Unfortunately, a spell of bad weather trailing behind us brought our long supply train to a grinding halt. Of course it has. After months of tireless combat, the Ranger Corps is now on standby. And instead of launching a swift counterattack, the Empire has shown no signs of movement. Mm. It's possible they've chosen to shore up their defenses in the capital. Oh, it's a trap! Either way, for now we wait. And while we have this reprieve, we may as well enjoy it. It's totally a trap. Okay. We'll just keep going. Squaddy's day off. <laughs> that works. Everyone deserves a day off every now and then. So quiet. It was until now. Yep. What, does Mr. Invincible get bored unless he's spraying bullets everywhere? I didn't say that. It's just... We're so close to the capital and yet so far. That's all Raz was trying to say. Exactly. Winter's only a couple months away, so why are we dragging our asses? Months? 
This war will be over in days. Oh, Riley, Riley, Riley. Doesn't work like that, unfortunately, kid. We're only blocked off from the mountains. The road north is wide open. All we need is a steady supply train. Then we can push all the way to the capital. That's true, I guess. When's the bad weather gonna clear up anyway? When it I'm observant, to. not psychic. I can't see that far off. But then again... What's wrong? It's too early in the season for rain clouds to be gathering in the mountains. It doesn't usually get so stormy up there until much later in the year. The weather does what it wants. Or we're talking about a JRPG, in which case someone's doing magic or something. Uh, hmm. Better up there than down here. Last thing I want is to get rained on while I'm sitting on standby. Enough jibber jabber. What we need are the three Bs bacon, beer, and babes. Raz, I just think you're getting kind of like thoughtful and kind of growing up and stuff and. Then you say something like that. <sighs> I'm just hoping there's still hope for you, buddy. And we need them ASAP. Our rations are so small, I'm wasting away into a mummy. Says the guy who stole my bacon this morning. Well, it looked like you weren't going to finish, so I ate it for you. I was enjoying my bread, not wolfing it all down. Oh, look! There it is! So that's Einhemd. Ooh, pretty. Looks like a nice town. <laughs> Raz can finally get his three Bs. All right, bacon, beer, and babes. But you'll have to foot the bill yourselves. This is still Imperial territory. Be on your best behavior. <laughs> Uh, poor Raz. Poor Raz. Let's keep rolling. Huh. A lot of hustle and bustle for a small town. Luckily, there wasn't any collateral damage. They didn't even put up a fight. So everything's still up and running. Like nothing happened. Sucks we gotta buy our own stuff, though. How tight-fisted can you get? Um, it's not really. The army can't sign off on luxuries like alcohol and meat. Not even sweets? <laughs> Raz, you're going to pay me back double for that bacon. Otherwise, I'm taking some of your bread from every meal. Fine, you win. I'll bust open my piggy bank and buy out all the bacon in town. Hey, Miles, you can come with. I'm good. I was gonna go look for tank parts with Claude. Apparently, some of the shops here stock Imperial tech. Okay. Nothing else. Empire knows how to make a tank. <sighs> Just get over here, you moron. Huh? Come on already. Huh? Wait, Claude! <laughs> I'll make sure they don't get into too much trouble. Huh? Is Kai really that hungry? <gasps> oh, Rags, wait! Where are you going, boy? After sitting for so long, he probably wants to go on a walk. That makes two of us. Yeah. Shall we get going then? Go where? After Rex. Okay. I don't want him scaring the townsfolk. Uh, of course. We're kind of his owners after all. Huh? I can get down myself. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry. Hurry up. We're gonna lose sight of him. Oh, right. Please tell me I don't have to chase a dog. 
I don't want to have to chase a dog. I really don't want to have to chase a dog. I do like the fact they put this nice Never story bit. Never thought I'd in. see you playing matchmaker. Ah, oh, shut it. <laughs> you wouldn't be here if you didn't want to give them some alone time too. Yeah, I can't expect them to forget the past. But it makes me feel awkward just watching them. Not that I'm making any assumptions. I just hope this doesn't blow up in our faces. Well, they're not the only two who get some alone time. Huh? What do you mean? Damn it, you can be dense sometimes. I meant that you and me can, you know... <laughs> hey guys, what are you talking about? Nothing. Never mind, forget it. Uh, Raz! Where are you going? The butcher's back here! <sighs> what do you mean you're all out? Are you refusing service to the Federation Army? Sorry about him. He's got low blood sugar. Calm down, Raz. They're obviously sold out. Not a single piece of jerky? He's got to be holding out on us. I'll ask if there are any other butchers in town. Oh, Raz. Mystery solved. Someone bought out their entire stock. What kind of sneaky rat bastards did that? Another squad. One that got here before us. Just give it up, Raz. I'll settle for bread instead of bacon. Mmm. Fluffy white bread. Fresh out of the oven. Okie dokie. Keep going! That's a really uh, long bit of video, this. But it's nice after all the action and everything. Oh! oh it's getting petted. <laughs> he sure does love kids. Such a good boy. Yeah. It takes a rare breed to make it into special ops. For dogs and humans. Wait, hold on. You're talking combat support? Oh, you didn't know? Ragnarok isn't a pet. He's our squad mate. Has his own rank and everything. No way! <laughs> Karen thinks he used to be a rescue dog trained up in the northern mountains. But when we found him wandering around our camps, he was just a stray. So we took him in. Pretty soon, he started helping out with rescue missions. Wasn't long before he became our first official canine unit. Cool. Wow, you're a good, good, good boy, Rex. Oh, look at the big doggy. Mommy, can I pet him? Ah! Are you okay? She's all right. Come on, honey, don't cry. Can you stand up? Mm -mm. I'm sorry. My daughter didn't mean to bother you. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Apologize to the nice soldiers. Now. But, Mom, you said I shouldn't talk to the Federation. They are at war. What? Uh, that's, that's not what I... Uh, I said no talking to strangers. <laughs> Let's go, Riley. I guess we're unwanted guests here. The Federation may have taken the town peacefully, but to them, we're still foreign invaders. I knew that coming in, but... Yeah. It's rough. Come on, Rax. Let's go, boy. Oh, hold up, Claude. Do you think this shop has those parts Miles wanted? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna sell the parts either, because they can use it in tanks and stuff. But we can try. We can try. This must be the shop Miles was talking about. Wow, they've got everything. Oh wow! 
It's all made in the Empire. Craftsmanship is unbelievable. Come on in. Oh, uh, pardon me. Welcome, sir and madam. I must say, you have quite the discerning eye. We don't get high-quality goods like this too often, especially this far west. How'd you get your hands on Imperial tech? Black market? More or less. Let's call them uh, unofficial <laughs> channels. The parts themselves are legitimate, of course. The Empire was in such a hurry to retreat, they left all sorts of cargo lying around. Uh, sure, but selling it out in the open? Oh, I'm just skimming a little off the top. This junk's a drop in the Imperial bucket. Mm -hmm. Well, one army's trash is another's treasure. I'll swing back later with my driver. And I'll be here when you're ready to buy. Thanks. See ya. Oh, wait! Your squad isn't heading north, is it? Uh, -oh. uh probably? Most likely, yes. Then you should watch out for the Winter Witch. It's an old legend around these parts. Right. Come winter time, the north grows so cold that everything ices over. Everything! Horses can't move, guns won't fire. Frozen in time by the Winter Witch's curse. Not our soldier that joined our group, is it? So what, it's a big blizzard? That's fine. This war will be over before the first frost. Besides, it's just another fairy tale. Uh, every fairy tale has no get of truth at the beginning of it. All stories have a kernel of truth. There you go! The Imperial Army's no stranger to the blizzards of the North. And they'd sooner fight the entire Federation than be caught in the Winter Witch's claws. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the heads up. Don't mention it. <laughs> I just like you two. Seeing a happy couple in wartime reminds me of when I was young and in love. Uh-oh. Uh, hold on. It's not like we're dating or anything. Ah, no need to be shy. It's not like it's against the rules. <laughs> War makes you forget about what's really important. With death all around, it's easy to forget how to live. Peace and love. That's what this world needs. Settle down. Raise a family. Grow old together. Hmm? I told you it's not like that! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, this isn't awkward. <laughs> Hope you lovebirds live happily ever after. Oh boy, you really love touring it on there, don't you, buddy? Okay, just keep going. I mean, we're on number seven? Wow. Unreal. All the bread in town, too? I don't know who bought out the entire bakery, but I will find them, and I will kill them. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Kai can't have bread either. Kai, over there! It's the food bandits! <gasps> them. They're from Squad F! Damn it! Give me back my meat! Uh-oh. Hand over that bread now! Uh-oh. No! Ah! What are you doing? We're on your side! Oh, man. Oh, no. They're fighting each other! Claude! You've got to stop them! Stand your ground, brave knights. Don't let them take a single slice of Lieutenant Victor's bacon! What are you idiots thinking stacking the bread that high? It's going to get squished! Hey! Get your paws off my ham! And my jerky! Oh, boy. Enough! Cease this at once! Crystal, did you order this mountain of food? Uh, well... Yes, ma'am. <laughs> What's going on here, Minerva? 
Four jackbooted thugs tried to rob us of our supplies. Only because you jackholes bought everything out in the first place! All of it was purchased out of my own pocket. Is it a crime to support local businesses? It is when other people go hungry because of it! Where's that covered in your code of chivalry? Not only that, it may stir up anti-federation sentiments from the townspeople. I'll have to report this to HQ. Uh-oh. Now see here! <clears throat> it... It's true, a knight must show compassion. <laughs> I'll allow Squad E to challenge us for it. Oh, what? We're both proud warriors, you and I. Let's settle this in a mock duel. On the off chance that you win, we'll share our food. Assuming that could happen in a thousand years. Right. And if we win, to the victor belong the spoils! Oh, Minerva, these brutes aren't worthy of your mercy. Crystal, you really need to chill. They took my bread, Claude. My fluffy bread. I'm taking it back. Fine. But if we play along with Minerva's game, we're playing to win. Squad E, suit up. Okay. Hell yeah. I'll show him how far a man will go for meat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys. We're going to call it right there. Um, this has been a fun one. <laughs> But not much action. Although I am glad after all the battles we fought that we're going to have a little break. Um, next video we will go through some of the squad stories. Uh, there might be some battles in there for us to do. And obviously I've got the skirmish bits as well. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> a mock battle for food. Okie dokie. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like we saw, please do consider subscribing. But until next time, you all take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.